Let's see if your math skills are strong enough to solve this problem without a calculator. Okay, so let's take a look at the problem. We have 1 half plus 1 half divided by 1 half times 1 half minus 1 half. Okay, so this is the problem. Again, no calculators, but uh, if you know the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll share the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is one half. So pretty interesting uh, problem. All the numbers involved uh, are one half, and the answer is one half. And if this is what you got and you did not use a calculator, well, that is fantastic. You definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, Amos, do you do math, man? I made a mistake someplace. What went wrong? Can you help me out? Well, I definitely can. So the first step to solve this problem is to think about the correct order to do this work. Now, assuming you know how to work with basic fraction operations, this will be a very easy problem if you do it in the right order, which means you need to understand the correct order of operations, or PEMDAS. Okay, so this is an acronym. It goes from left to right. And let's take a look at what these letters stand for right now. Okay, so P stands for parentheses. So if you have any parentheses in your problem or brackets or any other type of grouping symbol, you're going to do that first. Now, not every uh, problem is going to have parentheses or any uh, one of these steps. So just move on to the next thing, which of course is E. All right, so E stands for exponents, but you can think of this as powers. So if I have like two to the third power, this three right there is an exponent, the two is a base, the entire thing is a power. Okay, so let's continue on and take a look at these steps. Again, we're going from left to right. So M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. Now, it kind of makes sense that uh, the next thing on our checklist is multiplication, but then this is not the way PEMDAS works. And this confuses a lot of students. They're like, hey, Mr. Teacher Math Man, what are you talking about? You're telling me to, uh, to go from left to right, uh, you know, and just kind of go through this uh, acronym, P-E-M-D-A-S. Well, that's not the way this works when we get to multiplication and division. All right, so the way PEMDAS works at this step is you're going to do any multiplication or division. So in other words, if you have both multiplication and division in your problem, you're going to do whatever you see first from left to right. So in this case, we see division uh, before multiplication from left to right. So this is going to be our first step. So after you take care of all multiplication and division, you handle addition and subtraction if you have it, and you're going to do this in the same way from left to right. Okay, so now that we understand the correct order of operations, we can go ahead and do this problem. So our first step again is going to be division. So we have one half divided by one half. Anything divided by itself is one. So one half divided by one half is one. But uh, let's just do a quick review on how to divide fractions. So uh, when we are dividing fractions, we change the problem to multiplication by flipping uh, the fraction to the right of the division symbol upside down. Okay, so here we're going to have 1 half times 2 over 1. So to multiply fractions, all we have to do is multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Okay, so again, we took care of our first step, uh, which is division. So 1 half divided by 1 half is 1. So now the problem is 1 half plus 1 times 1 half minus 1 half. Okay, so we're always thinking about PEMDAS here. And you can see we have addition and subtraction and multiplication. We have to take care of all multiplication and division before we uh, move on to any addition and subtraction. So the next step is going to be uh, 1 times 1 half. Okay, so this should be very easy. Anything uh, times 1 is going to be just whatever that is. So 1 times 1 half is going to be 1 half. Okay, so here is our problem. So we have 1 half plus 1 half minus 1 half. Okay, so uh, again, we have addition and subtraction. Uh, we're going to do this from left to right. So 1 half plus 1 half is 1. 
Now we have common denominators here and hopefully you're like, hey, Miss D2 Math Man, this is easy. One half plus one half is one. But uh, just to do a quick review on how to add fractions, if you have the same denominator, i.e. lowest common denominator, all we have to do is add the numerator. So that would be one plus one over two. So that's two over two or one. Okay, so one half plus one half is one and one minus one half is one half, which of course is our answer. Okay, so this is how you do the problem. Now, obviously uh, we got the right answer because we took the right steps. I'm gonna show you an example here uh, in just one second on how we can easily get uh, a wrong answer by taking wrong steps. Now, before we continue on, make sure to hit that subscribe button. This really does help my channel grow on YouTube. Also, make sure to check out my full library of math courses. Now, in every single one of my courses, I give you a full comprehensive detailed lesson on every single topic. Also, I cover thousands of problems with full video solutions. I have a ton of worksheets, online quizzes so you can get ready for tests, and even printable and downloadable notes so you can study offline. All right, so if you want a great, clear, and understandable way to learn math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. All right, so let's do this problem in a different way. Matter of fact, we're going to uh, purposely do this problem in the wrong steps because uh, this is a real good way to kind of uh, see how important PEMDAS or the correct order of operations is. Okay, so let's just go ahead and randomly uh, start right here. Maybe we're like, oh, one plus, uh, one half plus one half is one, that's easy. And then over here, uh, we'll do this multiplication. So one half times one half is going to be one over four. All right, so now we have one divided by one fourth minus one half. Pretty easy steps now. Uh, right here, one half plus one half is one, and one half times one half is one fourth. So there's nothing wrong with uh, this work here, but uh, what's wrong is the steps or the order in which we are doing the problem. Okay, so now we have one divided by one fourth minus one half, and let's continue to move on. Okay, so one divided by one fourth minus one half. Let's do this division. So one divided by one, four, one fourth, excuse me. Again, we're going to change this to a multiplication problem when we are dividing fractions by flipping this fraction to the right of the division symbol upside down. Okay, so this is going to be one times four over one or four. So one times four is four. All right, so one divided by one fourth is four. Now again, this is correct, but uh, we are doing the problem in the wrong order. All right, so one divided by one fourth is four, and now we have four minus one half, and uh, four minus one half is three and one half, which of course is the wrong answer. But uh, you can see here that we are doing all this division, multiplication, and subtraction and addition correctly. What's wrong is the order. That's why PEMDAS in the correct order of operations is critical when you are working a math problem. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.